Opuntrificus indica is a species of cactus that has long been a domesticated crop plant important in agricultural economies throughout arid and semi-arid parts of the world. It is thought to possibly be native to Mexico. Some of the common English names for the plant and its root are Indian fig opuntia, barberry fig, cactus pear, spineless cactus, and prickly pear, although this last name has also been applied to other less common opuntia species. In Mexican Spanish, the plant is called nopal, while the fruit is called tuna, which are names also used in American English, especially as culinary terms. Growth Fig opuntia is grown primarily as a fruit crop, but also for the vegetable nopales and other uses. Most culinary references to the prickly pear are referring to this species. The name tuna is also used for the fruit of this cactus, and for opuntia in general. According to Alexander von Humboldt, it was a word of Hispaniola native origin taken into the Spanish language around 1500. Cacti are good crops for dry areas because they efficiently convert water into biomass. O. ficus indica, as the most widespread of the long domesticated cactuses, is as economically important as maize and blue agave in Mexico today. Because O. puncha species hybridize easily. The wild origin of Oficus indica is likely to have been in Mexico due to the fact that its close genetic relatives are found in central Mexico. Uses The most commercially valuable use for Opuntia ficus indica today is for the large, sweet fruits, called tunas. Areas with significant tuna growing cultivation include Mexico, Malta, Spain, Sicily and the coasts of southern Italy, Albania, Greece, Libya, Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria, Lebanon, Syria, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Israel, Chile, Brazil, Turkey, as well as in Eritrea and Ethiopia, where the fruit is called bells. In Sicily, the prickly pear fruit is known as Ficodinia. In Albania, it is known as Ficdeti. The cactus grows wild and cultivated to heights of 12 euro 16 feet. In Namibia, O. ficus indica is a common drought-resistant fodder plant. The plants flower in three distinct colors, white, yellow, and red. The flowers first appear in early May through the early summer in the northern hemisphere, and the fruit ripen from August through October. The fruits are typically eaten, minus the thick outer skin, after chilling in a refrigerator for a few hours. They have a taste similar to a juicy, extra-sweet watermelon. The bright red purple or white yellowish flesh contains many tiny hard seeds that are usually swallowed, but should be avoided by those who have problems digesting seeds. Jams and jellies are produced from the fruit, which resemble strawberries and figs in color and flavor. Mexicans have used Opuncha for thousands of years to make an alcoholic drink called Colanche. In the center of Sicily, in the province of Inna, in a small village named Galeano Castelferrato, a prickly pear-flavored liqueur is produced called Ficodi, flavored somewhat like a medicinal aperitif. In the early 1900s in the United States, the prickly pear fruit was imported from Mexico and Mediterranean countries to satisfy the growing population of immigrants arriving from Italy and Greece. The fruit lost its popularity during the mid-1950s, but has increased in popularity since the late 1990s, due to the influx of Mexican immigrants. Recently, the cattle industry of the southwest United States has begun to cultivate O. ficus indica as a fresh source of feed for cattle. The cactus is grown both as a feed source and a boundary fence. Cattle avoid the sharp spines of the cactus and do not stray from an area enclosed by it. Native prickly pear growth has been used for over a century to feed them. The spines can be burned off to reduce mouth injury. The cactus pads on which the cattle feed, are low in dry matter and crude protein, but are useful as a supplement in drought conditions. In addition to the food value, the moisture content virtually eliminates watering the cattle and the human effort in achieving that chore. Mexican and other southwestern residents eat the young cactus pads, usually picked before the spines harden. They are sliced into strips, skinned or unskinned, and fried with eggs and jalapi plus or minus o's served as a breakfast treat. They have a texture and flavor like string beans. They can be boiled, used raw blended with fruit juice, cooked on a frying pan, 
and they are often used as a side dish to go with chicken or added to tacos along with chopped onion and cilantro. In Malta, a liqueur called Bajtra is made from this fruit, which can be found growing wild in most every field. On the island of St. Helena, the prickly pear also gives its name to locally distilled liqueur, Tungi Spirit. Other uses include as an ingredient in adobe. Ophicus indica is cultivated in nopal raised to serve as a host plant for cochineal insects, which produce desirable red and purple dyes. This practice dates to the pre-Columbian era. The plant is considered a pest species in parts of the Mediterranean basin due to its ability to spread rapidly beyond the zones where it was originally cultivated. In Hebrew, the plant is referred to as sabra. This led to the popular use of the term sabra to refer to an Israel-born Jew, alluding to the fruit and the people are like being tenacious and thorny on the outside but sweet and soft on the inside. Kishkashta, a main character on a 1970-80s Israeli children's show, Ma Pitlam, was a large, talking felt puppet of the Opuncha cactus. The high levels of selenium in Opuncha are comparable to those found in the Brassicaceae. Mucilage from prickly pear may work as a natural, non-toxic dispersant for oil spills. Dietary information, the fruit contains vitamin C and was one of the early treatments for scurvy. The red color of the juice is due to betalanes. The plant also contains flavonoids, such as quercetin, esorhumnitin and camprol. Other constituents of the pulp of the fruit are carbohydrates, proteins and fibers rich in pectin. Biogeography, recent DNA analysis indicated Ophicus indica was domesticated from Opuncha species native to central Mexico. The Codex Mendoza, and other early sources, show Opuncha cladodes, as well as cochineal dye, in Aztec tribute rolls. The plant spread to many parts of the Americas in pre-Columbian times, and since Columbus, have spread to many parts of the world, especially the Mediterranean, where they have become naturalized. This spread was facilitated by the carrying of note pails on ships to prevent scurvy. References Further reading, Anderson, E.F. The Cactus Family. Portland, Oregon, USA, Timber Press. Benson, L.H. The Cacti of the United States and Canada. Stanford, California, USA, Stanford University Press. Donkeen, R. Spanish Red. An Ethnogeographical Study of Cochineal and the Opuncha Cactus. Transactions of the American Philosophical Society 67, 1 Euro 77 doi, 10.2307 slash 1,006,195. Griffith, MP The Origins of an Important Cactus Crop, Opuncha Ficus Indica, New Molecular Evidence. American Journal of Botany 91, 1915 a Euro 1921. Doi 10.3732/ajb 91.11.1915. Kisling, or origin, domestic Asia cubed ny distribution cubed nd or puncha ficus indica. Journal of the Professional Association for Cactus Development 3, 50 Euro 60.